Hello everyone, I'm Steve, a soldering engineer at Japan Unix. Today I'll be talking about the basic configuration of a soldering robot. The structure of a soldering robot is quite similar to hand soldering. So let's compare and see how the functions of hand soldering are integrated into a soldering robot. First, the soldering tip is here on the robot. The color is different, but the basic material is the same. However, unlike hand soldering, the angle of the soldering tip can be fixed. This ensures a stable soldering process. Next, the solder supply is here on the robot. You feed the solder manually in hand soldering, but with the robot, it's done by the feeder. The solder is fed by a gear motor and supplied through a tube to the tip. Moving on, the cleaner is here on the robot. With hand soldering, you have to clean it manually, but the robot uses an air cleaner to blow away debris with air automatically. The flux and other dirt that accumulate are cleaned with a brush cleaner. Next, for soldering iron positioning, in hand soldering, this is done literally by hand. But with a soldering robot, it's done through four axes, X, Y, Z, and rotation. You can easily set it up using the teaching pendant. Lastly, let's talk about soldering know-how. In hand soldering, the amount of solder feed and heating time are often based on the skill and intuition of the operator. With a soldering robot, you can set these parameters like the solder feed amount, speed, and heating time as conditions. This way, the robot can replicate the knowledge of skilled craftsmen. The structure of a soldering robot is quite similar to hand soldering, right? But there are several advantages unique to robots, such as consistency and efficiency. For those of you considering soldering automation, if you have any questions or need advice, feel free to contact Japan Unix. See you next time.